The FBI out with a warning for your money, sounding the alarm on an imminent threat of a global ATM cash out, where hackers gain access to ATMs and then they use cloned debit cards to swindle millions of dollars in just a matter of hours. Joining me now is Bill Gavin, former assistant director of the FBI of New York and senior advisor to Integris Intelligence. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you tell us how this works? Basically, uh, Melissa, what they do is they, they will hack into a bank and or a bank processor and, and get that information and produce clone uh, cards off the information they obtain. And then the scary part about this thing is the fact that this seems to be uh, a choreographed, a synchronized uh, um, uh, effort by a number of these uh, cyber hackers to all uh, do, commit their crimes all at the same time. That is, hit the ATMs all at the same time. That can result in the loss of millions and millions and millions of dollars. The, what's even worse is if they go into the bank network itself and go beyond the ATM into the electronic uh, payment process, uh, that would be uh, catastrophic. So it's very difficult. There, right now, I know, go ahead, I'm sorry. Well, I was going to say, there's also a process, because we were just kind of showing it on the screen, called jackpotting, where they pretend to be repairmen and break into the M ATM physically and insert something that, that makes it basically spit out all the cash they put in malware or some sort of hardware, right? That, Absolutely true. That jackpotting is something that, that requires them getting it actually into the machine, which makes it a little bit more difficult for them and a good chance of them being found out. Not totally found out, but they may be found out. And it does. It'll spit out all the cash in the machine, and that way they can they can empty that uh, ATM in, yeah. a, in a very rapid fashion. So, so why and is this the, the, a danger to consumers? Because it's always my impression when somebody does something like this, the bank is on the hook. They have insurance to cover it. But for consumers, you're pretty much protected. Maybe in the long run, but just think about the inconvenience to the consumer. Uh, you are in London on the, or working for uh, Fox in London for a day, and you need to uh, 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 use an ATM to obtain cash. You can't do it. And if, in fact, it reaches a point where the bank would have <coughs> to inactivate all the ATM machines, it might not be every bank, but a number of banks has to inactivate all the ATM machines. Just think of the inconvenience that would cause to, to the consumer. On the hook, probably not in the long run, but boy, it is, uh, it's a catastrophe for the industry as a whole and very, uh, uh, very difficult for anybody that's using the uh, particular uh, ATMs. Well, good that the alert is out. We all know more about it. I'm sure the banks, I mean, they're very serious about their money, so I'm sure they're right on top of it working on it. Bill Gavin, thank you so much.